Hey guys, I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at a stock ROM for your next four device. And if you haven't heard, uh, yesterday at Google actually had an event which they released Android version 4.3 for the Nexus 4, Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 7, Nexus 10. And, you know, so um, here's a stock round for you guys. So if you guys already have, you know, if you guys already rooted with Clock Mod Recovery or Team Mode Recovery, you guys know you don't want to unroot, get the over-the-air update, or flash it via fast boot, and then root your phone overall over again. So this is a better option, as you can just flash this RAM, you know, via uh, Custom Recovery, and you'll be able to have it instantly. Um, let me go into Settings, and it's all 1% stock. And you can actually root this. I'll have directions down below on how to root it properly. Um, but you're running on Android version 4.3 baseband, build number right there, if you want to know what that is. Um, I'll go and tap on Android version. We are still running on Jelly Bean, unfortunately. Hopefully, we'll be able to get, you know, Key Lime Pie or at least a uh, preview of Key Lime Pie sometime, you know, within the next couple of months. So we know it's coming at least <laughs> sometime, you know. We really haven't heard any news about it from Google or any other, you know, leak sources or anything like that. Um, but overall, Android version 4.3 is 100%, looks just about the same as 4.2.2, but they did more under the hood improvements than anything. Um, you can have better battery life, better stability, and overall better performance for your Nexus 4 device as it is aging. But I still haven't seen any lagginess. It's still speedy as I remember. And, you know, it's even faster than some of the new devices that were released this year. <laughs> I know I'm surprised too. You know, even though TouchWiz is, you know, has better... Um, all the hardware and all that, just touch with the software does bring it down low for the Galaxy S4. Um, let me do no thanks. Um, one thing that you can actually visually see that's new on the Android version 4.3 is the new camera that you may have seen that I've done with the Galaxy S4 videos. So this is a new option. So let me go and show you that. It's kind of a new look, I guess, for levels, for all the options and all that. Um, but overall, the camera functionality is still there. Um, everything works on this custom RAM, this custom stock RAM, I guess I should say. Um, but everything works flawlessly, no problems whatsoever. Um, and if you guys are wondering, this is actual official build. This is not the leaked version. This is 1% official from Google, from the servers, and a developer has just made it into a custom flashable RAM. Big thanks to the developer. Uh, I'll have a link down below in the article. Credits for the developer if you want to give him a thanks, which I would recommend. Um, but overall, it's nice and speedy, no pounds whatsoever, no lag, and overall, that's what I want to show you. Um, you still have the same wallpapers, so I'll show you the wallpapers as well. So no new wallpapers in this update. Um, I really, I just <laughs> really want that key lime pie. I am being patient, uh, but that patience is running low. Um, but that's what I really want to show you guys. Um, nothing big, and you ha you can actually root this, so I'll show you that. Let me go and go into titanium backup. And I actually get uh, uh, granted root access. So I'll show you that. And I'll tap on that. So I do get root access with Titanium Backup and, and any other root app, so, which is great. Um, one thing to note is once you flash this ROM via Clock Mod Recovery or Team One Recovery, you're not going to become rooted. Um, what you need to do is download an SU file specifically for Android version 4.3, flash it via custom recovery, and then you'll be rooted. Um, if you guys are confused on how to do that, uh, in the same article down below, so click on the one li article link in the description of the video. That will bring you to where you can actually download this ROM and all the directions on uh, how to root this uh, stock ROM step by step, uh, which is very simple. So no need to worry about that. Um, but that's what I want to show you guys. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and like this video in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, keep in mind, this is the official build from, uh, <laughs> from Google. So you are less likely to run into problems. It's going to be much more stable. And overall, you can get a better experience for your Nexus 4 device. Thanks, guys. Link down below for the RAM and rooting instructions. Peace.